this is Sachin today I'm going to showcase you how to install the GNS3 on Windows machine first of all we have to download the GNS software we can go to the gns3.net slash download URL this particular URL is also given on the comment sections of this particular video go to the first link that is all in one just click on that it will take you to the actual download page it will ask for a location where you have to save in my case I am I'm downloading this particular file on desktop so it's already already downloaded on my desktop so I'm not going to or download the, this particular file Here is this file. We are going to install this particular GNS3 setup file. Run it. It will take a couple of minutes to start the installation. Click on next. We have to install all these plugins along with this GNS it will ask for a pin pin cap setup also just click on install so in my my system it is already been installed so I'm not going to install here So it has been installed now. Now it will install the Wireshark. You just have to click on next only. Click on next and close it. Finish. now it will install the actual GNS before that it was installing that additional files or additional software which is required to run this particular software GNS. click on next and close now it will automatically launch that particular application GNS application it will ask for a couple of things just click on OK okay first of all we have <clears throat> couple of routers names here on left column 1700 2600 2691 36 and couple of others to run these particular routers we require a iOS image through which we can run that so in this particular demonstration we are going to use the 3600 image so we have to go to edit an iOS image and where where your iOS image is located you have to mention that so my iOS image is located on I'm just giving them save and finish on that close on that now we are going to place we are going to take two routers and we are configuring the two routers 
with the in required interfaces you have to go to slot you have to select the required number of the ports which you want here I am using one Ethernet NM1 E means one Ethernet network module one Ethernet here I am using for router 2 also let me take 4 Ethernet and we are going to connect this Okay, now we have to start these routers. It will take some time. One more important point we have to notice here when we are starting these devices on our location on, on GNS, normally the CPU will be reaching to 100% sometime so reduce down the CPU we have to do the idle PC which will calculate some of the values and reduce the CPU usage from this you have to select highest number in 78 we have three values 70 46 and 78 so I'm going to use 78 now you can see previously it was 70 75 now it has been reduced to 30 33 okay so now we have to take the access of these particular devices to take the access you have to right click on this go to console it will show you a black window with the host name of R1 here we can we can run our commands show IP interface brief we will do the same thing for router 2 go to control and it will show you the four interfaces okay now we are going to connect these devices you can see here that R1 E0 by 0 is connected to R2 E0 by 0 so I'm going to enable that interface with any random IP I'm taking 10.10.10.1 the same thing on on R2 also we are going to configure the IP address 10.10.10.2.255.255 sorry 255.255.252 no shit then now we are going to try to ping Now we can ping that IP you can see don't forget to give your comments on uh, on this video thanks for watching thanks